hello, hello, hello. This is Elle's Committee from Beamish Crafty Corner. And today, I want to make this. It's a book dangle. Yes. Um, I thought, you know, how cool would it be to be able to give somebody a journal, or even your own personal journal, uh, and put their name on it? Now, I couldn't think of anybody else's name to put on it, because I don't make journals for people, except when I commission them. So, uh, I just used my name, because, you know, I figured six letters, that's a pretty long name. And the whole thing is... about nine inches long so it'll fit most books and it's pretty simple to do I just made a small tassel right here we'll talk about that in a minute um, I added a little 14 millimeter lobster claw here at the top drilling the holes is pretty easy uh, if you've never used a drill or you're afraid to do that See if you can get your husband to do it for you. Uh, if you decide to buy Scrabble tiles from me, just let me know, and I'll go ahead and drill the holes for you, just to help you out. And this is basic jewelry 101, because we're only going to be using jump rings on this. You may need two pairs of pliers, some jump rings, and we can get the whole thing put together. No problem. Easy peasy, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head out to the shop, and we're going to get the tiles drilled. And then we'll come back in and I'll show you how to put the whole thing together. And I'll show you what not to do. Okay. So I know this isn't where we normally are. But we're going to do something a little different today. So what I have here are uh, Scrabble tiles. And we are going to be making something out of these. So I just want to show you the prep on how I do this. Let's see. Okay. So what I have here is a Scrabble tile. And I've put it into a pair of vice grips. And the reason that I did that is so that I don't have to have my finger anywhere near it. Okay. I'm going to turn you and back you up just a little bit. There we go. Now I have a drill here with a very tiny little bit on it. Okay. And I've marked the center point And now I'm pressing the Scrabble tile down so that it's flush against the table. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm straight up and down. And I've given myself kind of a little guide as to where I want to put these holes. And I'm putting two holes into each Scrabble tile. Okay. So basically, I adjusted the vice grips <clears throat> so that they just hold this. They're not pressing on the sides because I don't want to damage the Scrabble tile in any way. And then... Make sure that I'm drilling straight up and down. Put my two holes in each tile okay so I got a bunch of these here they all have two holes in them and uh, we're gonna go into the craft room and uh, get this project done okay, okay so we have drilled our tiles and we are ready to start uh, putting the thing together so let me show you what not to do <laughs> do you see how deep this is <laughs> you're not going to be able to get a jump ring that's small enough into there okay it's too far over so you need to be really careful you don't want to drill too close to the edge but you want to do, drill close enough to the edge that you can get a jump ring onto it okay so that's what not to do all right so here we have one of our tiles and I've started putting the jump rings on so what I'm gonna do is just put one jump ring on each side Okay. I'm going to make sure that I line these up so that they slide through there pretty easy. And I kind of want to turn it so that the opening is inside of the Scrabble tile. That's going to give me a little bit more play here. So, Okay, so we need to open a jump ring. 
and this little tool right here is kind of handy for that. It's called a jump ring tool. And basically what it does is it holds one side of the ring and you can just twist the other. So you get that nice opening. And you'll see I twist it. I don't pull or put my pliers in and open it because that's going to weaken the metal and we don't want to do that. So then, in order to not scratch up the front of your tile, you're going to place the jump ring in on the front side, kind of on its side, and twist, and as you twist, it'll actually feed through the tile. Let's get the pliers out of our hands so we can actually use our fingers. So I'm just gonna lay it on the top and just kind of thread it through. And as I turn it and wiggle it, it's going to come through on the back, okay? Now here's where the pliers come in handy because you actually have to get these two ends to come together. And that means you have to get that jump ring to go all the way around, see? Just like that. And then you're going to bring this end back towards it. And that's going to bring the two ends together and then just grab it and give it a little bit of a spin and put that opening back inside just like that okay and that keeps us from getting any scratches on the front of the tile because we don't want that because that would look horrible right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this to our existing chain so we'll take another jump ring open it up we're going to put it on the right side and then just add it to our ongoing chain. Make sure you got the letter the right direction and that when you hold it up, they are facing the right direction. Once you've done that, let me get rid of this real quick. Once you've done that, you're just going to take your pliers and squeeze the two ends back together. Now, I have found that if you go just a tiny bit past and let go, it snaps right into place, okay? So just a little bit past it, and it snaps right into place, okay? So now I have all of my rings nicely done. I'm going to go ahead and add a charm here in the center. So the easiest way to do this is just to open a jump ring and put it on a charm and then you're just going to go to that link that you just put in there that connects them together and you're just going to fish it through and again just seal it back together and then just take it a hair past and it will actually snap into place. Now, now that I have all those on there, let's talk about putting a tassel on this. So the tassel that I did was pretty simple. I just cut six or seven pieces of uh, string or twine or lace or ribbon or whatever I wanted to do. I fished them through a small jump ring and then just took a piece of wax thread, wrapped it around a couple of times, tied it off with a square knot, and then just trimmed my edges down, okay? So now I wanna connect this to this and I wanna put a fastener on. So I have my fastener and I have a large, one of my large 16 millimeter jump rings. So I'm going to put that through and then I'm going to put my charms through and then I'm going to put on my tassel and then I'm going to pinch this back together. All right. Now I can go ahead and add any other charms that I want to this um, and just, you know, any bits and pieces that I want to add and I can get those on there and then uh, come back and we will put this onto a book. I'll show you how to do that real quick and we will be ready to go. Okay, so how do we get this onto a book? Well, I'm not going to obviously put this on a book just yet. I am going to pretend, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of chipboard that is our spine. We're gonna pretend this is our spine. We're gonna use an awl, and this particular awl has a very wide top to it, and we want that wide top because when we push this through, we want to actually get some distance. We want a, a nice size hole, okay? 
So, push it through, and then I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to keep pushing till I get a nice hole. Not too close to the top, all right? And we're going to be getting another one of our very large jump rings. And our pliers, and we're just going to open this jump ring up pretty wide. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good distance there. I don't know if you guys can see the two ends. But that's a pretty good distance. And then what we're going to do is very carefully lay it flat. Really hard to do this so you guys can see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it on over the top of my book cover. And then I'm going to turn it and let it go into the hole naturally. Because I don't want to force it. Because I might damage my book cover. And I don't want to do that. So once I have it on there, I'm going to bring it back up to the top just like that. I'm going to bring my pliers in and I'm going to just bring the two ends together. Okay. Until I get them lined up. And they should just snap right into place as soon as I get them lined up. Okay, now once I have them lined up, I'm going to spin this so that the opening is inside the book cover. Okay. Now I can bring in my dangle and I am able to connect that to the spine of my book and take it off as I want. There it is on the side of my book or my fake book as the case may be. And I have this completed and I can take it on and off as I want. I can change it out. I can put it on my keys, whatever I want to do with this. Okay. So there's the basic steps. I think that's it, guys. So until the next time, do me a favor. If you haven't done so already, hit the red button and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell, and share me with all your friends. Because I'm making these dangly things. Till the next time, guys. Bye-bye.